Hey, Coach Miller here with B2B Lax, and I have something awesome I want to share with you today because it's all about lacrosse, but it's also about golf and the parallels between the two games. I don't know if you know this, but golf is one of my passions. I play a lot. I practice a lot. I, it's a very hard game. Like lacrosse, there's a lot of similarities in it getting better. And today we have an awesome field trip per se because we're going over to Zach Allen's golf studio his inside studio, and we're gonna, he's gonna take a look at my swing, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the parallels between golf and lacrosse. Um, one of the things you'll hear him talk about is kinda, you know, like with me, I lift, and sometimes my upper mobility was lacking, so I needed to get a lot more stretching involved in that. I spent a lot of time stretching on a daily basis, and so we're gonna talk about that, so let's get over there right now and see Coach Allen and talk about some golf and some lacrosse. All right, Coach Miller here, and we got a special video today because I think some of you guys know that I like golf, and I do love golf, so it's not going to necessarily be lacrosse related 100%, but we're going to show some parallels from lacrosse to golf. And with that, I have my good friend Zach Allen here. He's a coach. He's got a great YouTube channel for golf called Zach Allen Golf. They have the ball striking blueprint. You should definitely check it out. And we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do a couple things right now where we're talking about my specific swing. So here's a couple of things about myself that he pointed out. And I love hearing this because like, I'm always talking in like my emails and whatnot about you know, um, kind of getting after it and lifting and stuff like that. I love to lift, it's like, like one of my passions. But sometimes like when you lift that much and you're trying to do certain things with certain sports, in this case golf, you can get restrictive. So like when I came to uh, Coach Allen's studio here and he was looking at my swing he could just see like a lot of like you know um, not flexibility up in my upper body that is limiting some of the power uh, that I could potentially get from hitting the golf ball so what we're gonna do right now is he showed me this awesome training a that is gonna assist with like kinda getting that sensation of like loosening up your upper body and this has a direct parallel to lacrosse because there's a lot of times if you're trying to shoot the ball harder or if you're trying to do certain things and you just get real bulked up but don't can don't maintain that mobility to get to allow your body to like rotate freely then you could be limiting yourself in some of the capacity so you want to do both and that's the message of this video of like you want to also train but at the same time you want to get that keep that mobility get more flexible so that you can get your body in the right spots to generate the most power possible all right so i'm going to hand the mic over to coach allen now and we're going to go through this little training aid that he showed me so, you know, um, a couple of things that we notice, you know, I mean, he lifts a lot and just, um, especially in golf, like upper body flexibility is so important to have just a good range of motion and be able to get the club in the proper position. So, you know, we talked a little bit about, you know, some of the stretching that he was, uh, you know, doing afterwards, after a good workout, um, things just stretching on your own. And one of the tests we gave him is you notice how I can get my arms totally together here. Where it was a little tougher for him, and this is really important in golf, we use a lot of these inside muscles to keep the club and to keep our elbows from separating or flaring. Anytime we get any flaring in our elbows, um, they start to separate. They can separate over here, and it starts to get our swing a little out of position or a little bit um, armsy. So that was one of the things that um, we kind of tested at first, and you can see when he puts this ball in there, it's basically going to keep the distance between his elbows the same throughout the entire motion. And if that happens, the club's going to get into a great position going back and coming through. It's a great effective swing trainer. Not the easiest to use at first, but you feel a lot of different sensations there at the top, right? Show us what you maybe used to do. I think I was like used to... Yeah, so these elbows were a little more separated. There's a little bend of the arms, and that just gives that just makes it to where there's a little more play in the swing that we don't want or need. Keeping those elbows the same distance apart, while not easy to do at first, it requires a lot of flexibility. It's really important. You can see there as he keeps his elbows together going back and coming through, it really helps synchronize the whole motion where we're not getting any independent arm motion. Good, good, good. What do you feel like when you're doing that? It's not easy at first, right? I feel it all tight up in here. It's like definitely going to be something I need to work on, which is mm -hmm. totally cool and exciting because like it's a pretty much a brand new sensation. 
No, that's great. Um, but I'm still going to lift. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely keep doing that. Don't lose that. But he'll hit balls with this, um, you know, this is called a tour striker ball. He'll hit balls with this, but then whatever, wherever he feels tight, I want him to go back to the gym and at least post-workout start to work some of the, you know, work some stretches to kind of target those areas. And once he has the range of motion of a really good player, like the, the range of motion of like a tour player, that's a huge part of being a very good golfer. You know, um, it's not just about just raw strength and power. A lot of it, especially with golf, is mobility, pliability, flexibility, all those things, especially in the upper limbs. All right, so there we have it. Coach Miller and Coach Allen here. We're out in L.A. at his studio, at his office, at his uh, coaching facility. And I just wanted to have a little fun with this video today, like show a parallel from golf, what I'm experiencing, to lacrosse, what you guys are doing. Maybe you're feeling tight in some areas that you need to like hit a little bit more of some stretching and some mobility to get yourself some more uh, velocity on your shots, on your passes, any kind of that sort of stuff. You still want to have that happy balance between both. Like I still, I'm a big fan and like hitting the weight room, getting stronger, but there's another element to it. And I was like, enlightening for me to come here and figure out how tight I was. So anyway, Coach Allen here, they got the ball striking blueprint. Uh, I'll provide a link to that in the description of this video if you want some free golf training. I know I'm a lacrosse coach, but I love golf. So just want to have fun with today's video. See you guys in the next one.